Richard, come on. Meet Doug. I just want to show you people that I do good work during the year. Tell them, Doug. How you're the best. Nobody does as much charity work as you do. I mean, you, you're the man. Thank you. Man. Do you want to give a speech about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. All right. You know, as you know, Howard is here, alive and well, enjoying his tribute. It is, however, no secret that Howard suffers from a rare disease uh, called small penis syndrome. That's right. Small penis syndrome, or SPS as it's referred to, is an embarrassing condition that plagues far too many adult males. Howard has raised over $1,500 to fight this dreaded affliction. Thank you. Sure, I have muscular dystrophy, and I'm no stranger to my, the problem. But I'd rather, I'd rather be trapped in this steel cage for the rest of my life and have it be hung like a friggin' pimple like Howard. Well, all right. Thank you, Doug. By the way, Richard, much like you, Doug puts out exercise videos. This is his new video. Climbing into your wheelchair yes. while sweating to the classics, Richard. And Doug... We've shipped over a million copies already. You shipped a million copies? A million copies already. Climbing into your wheelchair while sweating to the oldies. Doug, give us a sample of what you do on that. Show sure, us how I would. I'd would love to. Would you give us a... No problem. All right, show it. I don't know how to do Howard, it. Yeah. Do, I what? Have, do I have to stay here? Yes, Richard, you do. This is your new manly image. Go ahead. Yep. This is his new video. What you do is you sit at home, you listen to this music, and you exactly. climb and from one climb wheelchair, wheelchair to the wheelchair other. To another. Go this ahead. Is, this is the best form of aerobic exercise known to man. Go ahead. Here we go. Is this locked? Yes, it oh, is, yeah. Richard. Oh, Richard's the concerned Richard. Go ahead. I know what to do. Go ahead. Here we you are. You bend and you stretch. You bend and stretch. Yes. Work the muscles. Then go you ahead. Go over here. All right. There you go. You nervous? I right, go ahead. Go ahead. This is good. And go ahead. There you go. All right. You did it. That's it. Thank you. So Doug's new Thank video, you. climbing into your wheelchair while sweating to the classic. Richard, it's all over. Forget yeah. about it. Richard, that was it's very all beautiful over for you. We'll be back with more roasts of our stupid guest of honor. Also, Richard Simmons proves he really is a man with Sandra Bernhardt. Hello, I prefer not to give my name because I am thoroughly embarrassed to be a part of this awful program. That's why I have this black square over my face. Now, Howard should also have a black square over his face. As some of you may know, I've written a book. My book is incredibly successful due to my many accomplishments like making mad, passionate love to tons of beautiful Hollywood starlets. Now, in my book, Geraldo, I, I mean, Mr. X, I omitted the uh, most shocking revelation. I uh, also, I'm sorry to say, made love to this creature, this unfortunate slug, this freak of nature, this carnival reject, this wretched soul. Now, uh, a lot of you think that I will sleep with anyone, but that's, uh, that's absolutely not true. Even I draw the line. I, her, I mean, Mr. X will go on record and tell you that I never slept with this person, although I did like his hair. <laughs> so, uh, bless you, Howard. By the way, uh, how is your wife and my children? John Rivers and Lynn, that's Beauty and the Beast. Uh, you hate John Rivers. I don't hate nobody, Howard. You I just want to understand. I came here, I thought this was the Sullivan Show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Steve I Rogers. can't understand. First of all, I saw your mother and I saw your father. Didn't they know that you were aborted? <laughs> don't they understand? First of all, people thought, didn't know that this man, they thought, was a twin. When he was born, his body came out. Two days later, his nose attached. <laughs> This is what we got to go through, ladies and gentlemen, to keep show business to make this guy make a million six a year. I can't get $35, and I'm brilliant. I don't understand this at all. It's unbelievable what's going on over here. They got everybody writing, everybody with papers, everybody saying, give me jokes. I come up here to give me crap they give me. They say, let's watch the Italian die. Nobody gives a damn for me. And Geraldo, every show I've done, I've always said it, you're still a scumbag. Yeah. You hear me, Geraldo? 
You're a scumbag, double scumbag. I hope, Harald, you get a cramp on your tongue. I can't believe America. Look what's happened to me. Here's a man, like a priest, trying to become a star, and Haraldo liver lips, he winds up with two shows. Right. Anyway, Howard, get a haircut. How do you like Richard Simmons? Though? I have no respect for Richard Simmons as a man. I liked him when he was a Twinkie. Right. All right. <laughs> Go. You understand? What do you think of Joan Rivers' I tribute speech? Joan Rivers, was that I think Joan Rivers needs an enema of the brains. Why oh, don't you dear. like her? I don't dislike her. I don't hate her. I just don't like when she tells people who's a genius. This one's a genius. This girl wouldn't know talent if you don't her with a bat. Really? I know talent. I know. You don't have any. Robin right. don't have any. This cameraman has talent. He's going after all the girls with the bazooms. Yeah. That's talent. That's real talent. <laughs> anyway, I need an agent. Thank you, Pat. Thank, Thank you, Pat. 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 Oh, thank you, Amy. I did not know that. Those breasts real? Certainly. I heard these breasts were not real, Robin. Where they're did attached. you hear that? They are attached? No, I heard they're not real. I heard they were breast implants, and I heard that one of your breasts exploded. Is that, Is that right? true? Tell the story. Just a little. What happened? What do you mean? What happened? Richard, you don't have to pay attention to this. You don't have to look at this. Sort of like an inner tube with a tiny hole. What happened? The, your breast... Your breast... deflate. They deflate occasionally. Your breast deflated? Is one that really true? And, and things them. started leaking out of them? Little tiny bit. And isn't Ooh. it true you drink Snapple? Of and course. did Snapple? Fills my holding tank. You know, Leslie, did you ever think of drinking iced tea in the middle of winter? My staff does. They're always guzzling Snapple iced tea. Do you know that? All the people on the really? show love the iced tea. You have never tasted a better it's iced incredible. tea. It's incredible. Yeah, it is incredible that they even advertise on a show as sleazy as this. <laughs> Their iced teas are so wholesome, so delicious and refreshing because they're 100% real brewed. No tea extracts, no concentrates. It's pure tea. Snapple is steep. Dick, are you in my shot? No. Could you just sit down? I can stand up here. Oh, I don't want you standing here. Okay, you sit down. <laughs> You're very old and feeble, Dick. <laughs> Snapple is steep the old-fashioned way. Yes, this is really good. Here, Dick, drink a little of this. You're going to love it. Go It'll ahead. help you get through the show. Right. And it won't stain your choppers. Oh, really? Yeah, go ahead. Turn around. Turn around to the camera. That's it. You're in show business. And, and move away from me so you don't block my shot. There you go. There, his original... Up to you. You're very good. I'm going to tell you something. You know, he reminds me of uh, Bill Wendell on the letter. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. No, Thank you're, you. you're better than him. His original with lemon diet made with 100% neutral sweet. Look at these flavors. Raspberry, orange, mint, even very decaffeinated. Good. Try some Snapple iced tea today. I'll tell you that. You know what this is? No. You shouldn't drink this. You need the fountain of youth. Oh. That's what you're I sure do. Yeah. You know, I know you're going to love this because it's made from the best stuff on earth. All right, go ahead. Do your thing. Snap. Hey. There's lots more on the Howard Stern Roast still coming up, including a few words from the king of one-liners, Kenny Youngman. Oh, what can I say to Howard that'll really get him going? Uh, Howard, guess what? You know those leather pants you drool about that my wife wears that you saw her in an NBC elevator one time? I saw them last night. I also saw what's under them. Well, oh, big deal. Welcome back to the Howard Stern Roast. Please welcome Fred the Elephant Boy. Yeah, Fred the Elephant Boy. Hi, Harry. Thank you for letting me be here. Thanks to you and your radio show, I am my first experience in Cassis. Nobody understands what you're saying. Say so. In other words, you're yeah. are you doing the tribute? You're thanking me for... Yeah. I'm the first guy that helped you get a woman. Me to sex. I introduced you to sex. And I didn't have sex yeah. with you, no, but... No, no, no. That's right. Make it clear. Yeah. By the yeah. way, let's compliment your speech coach, Marley Maitland. She's an excellent... Uh... Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, let me tell you all about it. I'm, I met her in a restaurant. She was very beautiful. She took me to her place. Hi, hi, Pami. And we have the best time ever. Huh? Tell everyone that you're Henny's son. <laughs> Tell them the truth. Isn't that your son, Henny? It could be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank That's you, Elephant good. Boy. Oh, Sit down. <laughs> That's very good. Robin. Yes. Have you been watching Richard Simmons? He still hasn't broken characters. 